um, for <laughs> um, just kind of like barricading things and smashing shit up to get the rights we have today, genuinely. Um, those are at risk uh, and on all kinds of fronts. Uh, we've got a Tory government, we've got rising fascism, we've got anti-migrant sentiment as an excuse for ignoring like the reasons why sexual abuse and stuff happens. And like, if we're talking about those fronts, one of those fronts is the fronts of trans rights, right? Um, and we're in a situation where like, we've got a handful of legislative protections which are a bit shit for trans people. And we were trying to push them a little bit forward and there's been a huge backlash. Now the funny thing about this, it's been done in the name of feminism. But the, <laughs> when you look at like what's actually happening, it's pretty fucked up, right? So you've got all these people saying, oh, we're feminists. And we, we're just, we just want a debate, we just want a discussion about trans people in toilets um, or whatever. Um, firstly, like a load of them are like openly allied with racists and homophobes. Like fucking hell. Secondly, I want to tell you about a court case that's happening at the moment. There's going to be a judicial review into the only service in England, the only publicly funded service that provides hormone treatments for young trans people who want them. It's a bit of a shit service already, but like they want to push it back and stop them doing anything. Now at the moment the way that works is on the idea that if a young person demonstrates capacity to consent, like if they demonstrate, okay, I understand what's going on here, they might be able to have a treatment, right? What this court case might do is undermine that. And that doesn't just affect trans kids, right? That affects teenage girls and non-binary people and young trans men who want to access the pill. That affects young people who want to access abortions, right? This is about rolling back women's rights. And a lot of it, where is this fucking money? They have a lot of fucking money to put ads in the metro or like fund a court case. Where is that fucking coming from? It's coming from the US far right. And yet you've got idiots who call themselves feminists writing for the fucking Guardian like Suzanne Moore who is saying trans people are the problem. We're trying to protect body autonomy, right? So we need to fight together all of us, right, for body autonomy, freedom of choice, and fucking building a new anti-capitalist world. So this is our one positive song. It's about that new world. It's called Queer Pocalypse.